Hey, it's Kimberly with StampinByTheSea.com, and I'm here today to talk about our new challenge week with MDS, and we are going to talk about fonts. I am super excited, and so is Heather, because fonts are so fun. And really, fonts can change the personality of your whole entire layout. So for this particular layout, I used quite, uh, I used actually three, I think, three different types of fonts, um, and one stamp brush that had some fonts in it. That's another great thing is Stampin' Up! has given us a ton of wonderful stamp brushes that um, have lots of great fonts that we can not necessarily change the actual font, but we can actually change the color, the size, we can break them up by cropping. Um, so don't forget about that. But if you're like me, uh, I think I am addicted to fonts. I have a ton and I love them. So, and you'll see um, on the challenge site, we have listed a bunch of uh, new fonts, places that you can go to, and on both of our websites, some of our favorite fonts that we both like to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna come down here to the right and hit my, my zoom button and so I can really see what I'm doing. I like to zoom in when I'm doing my journaling uh, because I'm usually working with a small space and it just helps me to see it. Uh, plus my eyes are old. So up here, we are going to play with some different fonts. So when I have my text box, I'm gonna come over here and just, um, I know some of the fonts that I use quite frequently. For instance, one is CK Alley. And when I put in CK, CK Alley's hand comes in right away. That's a terrific font. Another one that I love to use and which I've used on um, this particular layout is Kimberly Gershwin's. Uh, a lot of her fonts I love as well. They're just very pretty and scripty. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just show you, I'm gonna choose one here. Let's choose this one here. And okay, let's choose this one. And I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna make my font size just a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna just type, and we're having fun. Once I do that, then I come back in and I will change up some of the font just to give maybe it a little bit more uh, interest in the actual journaling. Just like I did down here. I took only a few words, four to be exact. I changed the color, I changed the uh, the type of font it was, and it made it fun. Again, it can change the whole personality. Uh, so that's a real quick tip on that. And let me get rid of this. Uh, another great thing is you can, uh, with your text boxes and using different fonts, you can change up your fonts by uh, turning them. Uh, I w originally had wanted that New York City up at the top here, and it just didn't work right, didn't fit the layout. So I just took it and changed it up. What's great about this is when I am going to correct it, it turns this way so I can correct my font. All right, those are some quick tips about fonts. You're gonna find a lot more quick tips on the Facebook page and on our website. So have a great time with fonts and I'll see you again. Thanks for stopping by.